Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. Well, good morning, everybody. You join me on what is a significant drop in temperature. <laughs> I'm talking two days ago, we were hitting the late teens, 20s. Now it's two degrees and we need gloves. But it is completely clear blue skies and I've got my Hasselblad 501cm, so we're going to be shooting film. So let's keep our fingers crossed for an image or two. So you might recognise these woods as I begin to walk through them. They're the same woods from my video two weeks ago when I shot with the Phase 1. And I must have shot these woods, I don't know, five or six times last year. My favourite place really is. It's such a fantastic location, but the benefits of coming back to the same location time and time again are massive. You, you do see something new every time. <sighs> Let's hope we find something different today. <laughs> you know what I was saying before about how when you, uh, when you come somewhere that you, you know, when you revisit the same place, you see something new every time. Well, I, I'm gonna show you a perfect example. I'm looking at a fantastic subject that you would think anyone would notice. If I just take five steps this way, okay, maybe seven or eight steps, this is the footpath. So <laughs> I've walked down this footpath about six times um, recently, and I've just never clocked this awesome tree. Oh, so not, let's not uh, get ahead of ourselves here. Might not work with the lenses I have, or the fact that I'm shooting square, so we'll have a look through the camera. It's nice, but the sky. Right, let's try a longer lens. <laughs> Too long. Okay, now we're talking. So I've loaded a roll of Portra 160, and the reason I've chosen that film is because of its soft colour palette. I think it's going to do well in this woodland. Also, it's got quite a decent dynamic range, so it's not a very contrasty film, which is perfect in this woodland where we've got a lot of deep shadows with the dark trees. And, you know, I, with my woodland images, I don't want them to feel crunchy. I want them to feel quite airy. So we're gonna shoot this at an aperture of f5.6 and we're gonna try and throw the background out of focus, which will give us that separation of our subject from all of the chaos behind it. So that is a quarter of a second f5.6. I'm rating this film at ISO 100 when it's a 160 film. And what that means is my image is gonna be slightly overexposed, which for this film is great because it can really handle um, being exposed to light, whereas if it's even, you know, if it's underexposed by even a small amount, the shadows get really muddy and, and awful. And in an environment like this, I can't risk having muddy shadows. So a quarter of a second, f5.6. Beautiful tree that's just hooked over like this. I'm assuming it's dead. It looks dead and it's snapped, but it's such a beautiful shape. And this is a composition that I would definitely revisit if we had more atmosphere, mist and fog and that kind of thing. Well, this image is okay, but just as I suspected in the field, the subject is lacking separation, and that's where mist and fog works so well with woodland photography. Now, I did try to compensate for the lack of separation by shooting wide open at f5.6, and whilst that helped a little, it also made it tricky to get perfect sharpness on that broken tree. And it looks like, on this occasion, I missed my focus. I've just spotted a shot. I, I honestly, 
don't know if this is going to work. It might just look like a mess. But I quite like the way that the light was catching this birch tree and the light is incredibly harsh and it's moving very, very fast. So I have to be quite quick with this shot. There we go, F5.6, 1 30th of a second. So I don't have much confidence in any of the shots from this morning. And as soon as the sun started to penetrate the woodland, um, yeah, it was, uh, I basically lost all motivation to shoot. But we're out of the woods. I'm not confident with any of the shots from this morning. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. The whole morning for me, you won't have seen it, but the whole morning for me was a rush. And then the light started to penetrate the woods and I just wasn't feeling it. So I had a break, had a cup of tea, and I'm back out. It's the middle of the day and it's very sunny. So I thought we'd shoot some black and white film. I've got a roll of T-Max 100 here, and much like all of the produce in my mother's kitchen cupboards, it's expired. This expired in June 2013. So that's what I thought we'd do. There is a, a composition here, which actually I've considered in the past. Just put my camera on the tripod here. Considered it in the past, but really I've always kind of dismissed it as being too complex and too complicated. But maybe now with this high contrast light, it should work in my favor because it's this silver birch tree, but it's blocked by these pines, but you can see the birch tree through the pines. So your kind of eye goes through, but the whole thing's a bit chaotic and a bit, messy and my composition has to be spot on. I can't make any mistakes. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that this might work with the old black and white, simply because of the contrast. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So did you spot the mistake? Did you spot the horrific mistake that I just made? That's right. Instead of taking the, uh, the entire film back off the camera and switching it with the film back that had the black and white film in, I, <laughs> ah, I took out the cartridge and just exposed the old Portra 160, which should be fine. You know, I will definitely lost a frame or two, but hopefully the images that I took this morning were protected. If not, this bit of the video explains why when I took images this morning and you just saw a blank screen, that's why. So thanks for uh, sticking through the video to this point. There you go, all has been explained. We're gonna go for a 15th of a second for the first shot, F11, focusing on the birch tree, which is framed by the pine trees. Cable release, how many times am I gonna to forget to put in a cable release? Uh, yes, this, this channel would be boring if everything I did was meticulous, perfect, and an utter success. I mean, really, who would watch it? I wouldn't, I like to see the real side of photography. Granted, could just be an excuse for messing up, but hey ho. Right, let's grab the shot. Dark slide out, mirror lock up, bosh. Quite like the composition, like the subject, I like the idea of the image. Expired film, no black and white filters, very limited black and white shooting experience. You've just seen me take uh, the other cartridge out of the camera. That's how often we mess up on this channel, especially when shooting film. So let me know your thoughts on this image and let me know if you enjoy the videos where I shoot film. Um, again, your, your feedback in the comments section is, is a great help uh, to me. So there you go. I hope I have an image to show you. <laughs> Oh,
it is at this stage in a photographer, YouTuber's career that you must sacrifice all video quality because we have a shot. We have a shot, but what we don't have is time. So we're gonna go back to Portra 160 and we are gonna try and get the shot before the sun moves out of position, which is fast. Right, single lone tree. Oh, I need to get closer. Oh boy, I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you, Mr. Mr. Video Camera. I mean, come on guys, quality content here. Okay, do I need to get closer? Wait a minute, let's go, go, go. Okay, that'll do, that'll do for now. Oh my God. Oh, I've got to run, 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 don't break an ankle. <laughs> of course, everything I need to actually take this photograph is uh, right here. <laughs> Wow, did I misjudge my uh, focal length there. Oh, man. Maybe not, maybe I should include the sky. Oh God, this, I hate rushing. All right, that cable release, light meter. Uh, light meter, anyone? Oh, don't tell me. Do not tell me. Oh, surely not. Um. Okay, well. Yep. Okay, so I've uh, left my light meter about two miles back down the trail. So, what do we do? Guess? Oh, I suppose I could guess. Why not? What else am I going to do? Okay. F5.6. We're going to go f5.6 and my first exposure is going to be a fifteenth of a second. I have no light meter. Oh, let me advance the frame, hang on. Yeah, so, there we go, fifteenth of a second. Block out the glare from the sun, there we go. Didn't do mirror lock that time. Ah. Oh boy. So it's late afternoon now. We still have a, a good hour and a half of light, but to be honest, I just think I'm done. I'm done, I'm, I'm really tired. And today has just felt like a real scatterbrain kind of day. I got up late, I forgot my filters this morning. I took out my cartridge, uh, exposing the film to the light, uh, which was just a, such a, an idiotic mistake. I can't believe I did it. Then I left my light meter behind, frantically trying to shoot a scene frustratingly trying to shoot a scene with no light meter and not being able to get the composition that I wanted. Uh, it's just, it, to be honest with you, today's not been a good day. It really hasn't, for me as a photographer, I don't feel like I've got one decent image. I feel like, if anything, I've wasted two rolls of film. But we'll see, you know, you never can tell. The images might come out, I'll be ecstatic, and this video will be phenomenal, full of drama, laughs, and photography. I don't feel like that's the case now. So um, I'm just gonna end it. Quite frankly, I don't feel like taking any more images. Unless of course something spectacular happens to catch my eye between here and the van. Now a quick message from the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. If you don't know who Squarespace are, well, you obviously don't watch this channel much, do you? <laughs> but Squarespace are an all-in-one website building platform. So if you want a nice website for your photography, like an online gallery, an online store, your own domain, anything that you would expect from a nice website these days, you can do it yourself at Squarespace. Just use their simple, intuitive drag and drop system. If you get stuck, you can use their 24 seven customer service. But as I always say, go on YouTube, 
watch a couple of videos, you'll be away in no time. Even I've done it, I've created a couple of websites using Squarespace within a couple of hours and they look great. And I don't know anything about coding and I don't know anything about web building or web design. So if you are interested in a website from Squarespace, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and give it a free try. And if you like that free trial, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you.